In the days when the great evangelist Dio Moody was preaching in Chicago, a poor drunkard stumbled up the steps to the front doors of Moody's church. The man pushed the door open, scanned the room, but saw no one inside. His eyes, however, were drawn to a large sign hanging above the pulpit that read, God is love. It struck him with anger. He slammed the door, staggered down the steps, muttering, God is not love. If God was love, he would love me, and he doesn't love a miserable man like me. He went on his way, but those words burned inside of him. God is love. God is love. God is love. And after a while, he turned around, retraced his steps, and entered the church again, confused and desperate. By now, the people had gathered, and as Moody began to preach, the man slipped into a seat in the back corner of the church, and he wept his way through that entire sermon. Afterwards, Moody made his way to the back door to shake hands with the people as they left, but the man didn't leave. He remained in his seat, weeping. Moody came over, sat down beside him, and asked, What are you crying about, my friend? Was it the sermon that touched your heart? The man said, Oh, Mr. Moody. He says, I didn't hear a word that you spoke tonight. He said, It was those words up there over your pulpit. God is love. Those words have broken my heart. Moody then sat down and explained to the man the depths of God's love. And the man listened and gave his heart to God, understanding for the first time that God really did love him. You know, my friend, there are many people today who have no idea that God loves them. For some reason, they believe that God doesn't love them. Maybe because they've suffered misfortunes and because of that, they are convinced that God doesn't care. There are some who believe that because they've committed certain sins, that those sins have caused God to turn his back upon them. Or maybe there are others who believe that God simply favors certain classes or races or genders and doesn't love others. But you know, nothing can be farther from the truth. In fact, the Bible tells us that God is love. In 1 John chapter 4 and verse 8, we read these words, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Those words are reiterated in verse 16 when the Bible says God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. Friends, may I remind you today that God loves you. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, God loves you because God is love. And may the Spirit of God take the Word of God and bless your heart today.